All right, so that's all there is to it. I've got 20 bulbs planted here. I've got nine planted over there. I have eight in here that I'll plant throughout the other two concrete just to kind of spread it out a little bit, see which soils are the best. All right, everybody. So as you just saw, last November, I planted the garlic. Now, I planted it right back there. Actually, I planted it in a few places throughout the garden, but the signs are showing that it's time to get it out of the ground. So today, we're gonna go harvest some garlic. And yes, I said we, because there she is. I'm sure she'll be clowning me the whole time, but it's all good. That's her job. So let's go do this. Garlic harvest 2022 is in effect. All right, so here we are at the garlic. Now, what you have to keep in mind with garlic is what type of garlic you planted, whether it was a hard neck or a soft neck variety. Now, most garlic in the south is gonna be soft neck because we have mild winters. You don't need the hard neck. You don't need the, the hard necks are more for the northern areas. So how do you know when you need to harvest or when the garlic is ready? You gotta pay attention to the leaves. So if you look right here, We've got multiple leaves that have died on the bottom. And then these are starting to turn. That is a telltale sign that the garlic is ready to come out. Uh, now to be completely honest, I might've left these in here a little too long, but we're about to find out. All right, with garlic, you wanna move away your mulch if you did mulch it. And you want to expose the soil. So now that we have it open, you don't want to just grab it and yank it out. You're going to damage all this. And you need this in order to cure the garlic. So just going to come in around it, nice and gentle. Pull the soil away from the bulb. Once you find the bulb, which is pretty deep, actually. This thing is... Wow down here okay so as you can see right here there's a the garlic now it's not huge but now we're just going to slowly work it up and out and look at that that's a small one but it'll work all right so that's the first garlic here on down home backyard gardening for 2022 all right, all right so here's the second one Dig down a little deeper, loosen up those roots. So they're not huge, but hey, that'll work, right? Looks like I might have a really good size one here. Now this is my drip system that I kind of buried, but this one's looking good. Not huge. A good size okay it took less than five minutes and I've got all the garlic in this section out and as you can see pretty good little haul of garlic here that was the biggest one but I did find again a pest that's what's left of the wire worm that I found on one but for the most part I didn't see any other wire worms in here so uh, I think we're good on that now if you look right here go ahead and pan to this whole section So as you see right here, I have a huge section, probably six foot, seven foot long here of open area. Now I'm gonna throw cucumbers and carrots in this section and that will be coming down the road. Um, but that's what's going in here. Now I've still got those other garlic and a few around the garden that are in the cinder block. So let's go get those out. Huh? You got me? Yeah. Okay, so this one is inside the cinder block as you can see and it is pretty deep. So, wow. those are some really long roots. Oh, good grief. Look at all that. Look at that root system. Holy wow. cow. I can't even get all of it in one, like. Look at that. 
thing. There that we go. That is crazy. It's so cool, guys. Wow. Yeah. A little smaller. Bye. Bye. Oh, MD, that was scary. I thought you said you shouldn't pull on yeah, it. Yeah, you shouldn't, but it's kind of hard to dig them out of this. Out of this, but look, difference. Difference system for the ones that were planted in the cinder block as opposed to the ones planted in the actual garden. These roots are probably tr three times those of the roots in the in the garden. wonder why. Okay, now these are the garlics that were in this raised bed, and I don't expect these to be very big. In fact, I kind of expect these to be a fail, but let's check them out. I planted them the exact same time as I planted all the other garlic. But you can see from the stems, they're a lot smaller than those other ones. So, so yeah, as you can see, that's a, a lot smaller. And look how small those roots are compared to the ones we just saw. Okay, so as you can see, these are a lot smaller. The root systems are smaller. The bulbs are actually smaller. But it's not a fail because we've got garlic here, so so that's a good thing. Uh, I will not I will not grow garlic in another raised bed like this. Obviously, this isn't what you want when you dedicate five months to a certain area. You want the bulbs to be as big as possible. So um, I won't say this is a fail, but I also won't recommend doing garlic in a uh, in a raised bed so we've got three more garlics to go and the last one it's going to be the big one so let's do it okay so this next garlic is the big garlic and if and in here in a minute we're going to show you the size of this thing the stem is probably you know a quarter size or larger in diameter and i'm excited to see just how big this garlic is i'm hoping it's the biggest one of all but it might just have a massive root system so i don't know here we go So I, as you can see here, it's a pretty big size stem on this thing and it goes deep. Now, these are marigolds and I'm probably gonna lose them when I pull this out, but um, it is what it is. Yep, see? Now the good thing about a marigold is you can separate the roots and then go transplant these somewhere else which we'll do immediately because I don't want to lose marigolds. Now I said don't just pull out the garlic but it's gonna be hard to dig this thing out. But, uh, I guess I'll try. Yeah this, this looks like a big one. Maybe not big, but it's bigger than the other. Bigger than the other. So here we go. Okay, so this isn't a monster garlic, but it's not a small one either. So I'm pleased with this. Okay, so transplanted the marigolds because don't want to lose them. Uh, I'm going to collect all the garlic, and I'm going to meet you all back over there in the shade. So here's the garlic harvest. Um, I did pretty good, I think. I'm not upset about this at all. As always, you want the bulbs to be as big as possible. But I'm not going to complain about golf ball diameter garlics. Now, there are some smaller ones, but that's fine. These are perfect for cooking. Now, I'm going to start the curing process on these. And to be honest, this will only be the second time that I've done this. So I'm not going to film it um, because I'm just not comfortable with that yet. And I'm just keeping it real. But it is time to start curing these. Like as soon as you get them out of the ground, you gotta start curing them. Now, if you notice, one thing I did was I shook out the roots. I didn't water them down or you know wash them off. You never wash them off once you pull them out. You want to start the curing process, which is technically the drying out process. So when you pull them out of the ground, do not wash them. Shake them, get all the dirt that you can off of them and then start the curing process. So, all right everyone, so that's all I got for this video. Again, I think I did pretty good. I got one bad one right here. Let me show you why it's bad. 
If you come in on the video, on the bulb here, you can see this section has been devoured by a wireworm. This is where I killed the wireworm that I showed earlier. It was on this bulb. So this one is going in the trash. We are not gonna use this bulb for anything. Um, as I have little baby spiders crawling on my hand. Yeah, that's horrifying. So that's crazy. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna dry this one out. I'm gonna use this as a seed garlic for the fall. No sense throwing it away. It might actually be able to grow something with it. So, um, but it's really easy to tell. It's got that big, huge missing gap. So, set that one aside. All right, everyone, so that's all I got for this video. Hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, please share it. If you uh, liked it, hit the little like button. If you felt like you should subscribe to the channel, then please do so. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Just type in Down Home Backyard Gardening, you'll find us. And hey, as always, shine bright and harvest hard. Bye. Okay, you can turn it off. You don't have to. There's a bug over there, like right there. I'm gonna get it on video. If it would focus, yeah. It's, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a wasp. And you don't want wasps. Wasps are okay too. I thought you said wasps are the devil, but okay. No, they are bad. They're also good to a point. I like hit the wrong button and it, like, I hit the square and not. Delete anything, did it? No. Okay. All right, guys, let's go get those. last one that was cool, so we'll go right here. <laughs> I'm still videoing it. Hmm? <laughs> I just video that whole thing. That's fine. Hey, everybody, welcome back to John. Come back to our friend. Okay, let's go. All right. You good? Yep. All right, everybody, so that's all I got for this video. If you liked it, learned anything from it, share it. Mm. Mm. All right, everyone, so that's all I got for this video. If you liked the video, please hit the button. If, uh, see, we, uh, I always have trouble with this part, the closing out. Always have trouble with it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, guys, he did something he shouldn't have done. Yeah, so let's pull him, and he did. So, call the cops. Today. Maybe because we're outside and in Texas. Okay, go. <laughs>